Hi everyone, this is Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. How are you guys? So, I am finally on, yay! Okay, just getting that set up, hopefully that's working. How's it going? How's everyone doing? Say hello as you come in. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully I can see your comments here. All right. What's new? I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. Um, finally, I'm feeling better. Hello, hello, hello. Oops, sorry. Okay, good morning, Marcy. Good morning, Mary Jane. All right, so I think that's working. I think, I think, I think. All right, so I have an order for a sunflower wreath, a burlap sunflower. I know I've made one with you guys before, but um, hey, Rosie, thank you. Yes, I'm feeling a little better, so I have this order that I have to get out. So I thought I'd come on and show you guys again what I do. So what I do is I put, um, this is a 12-inch frame. Oh, awesome. Wow, mushroom. Embroidery, that's awesome. Um, so what I do is I put three on the two inner rings, and it's okay if they slide around. Um, I'm just going to put them here, and then we'll slide them where in the position we want them. So I put three on that inner, and I cut these in half. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Um because you don't need that much of a pipe cleaner. So, <clears throat> sorry about last night. I was not feeling good at all. No, we don't have any snow here. We're in Pennsylvania. We haven't gotten snow. We got some last week, was it? Last week, week before, I don't remember. Where are you at, Stephanie, that you have snow? I know a bunch of places were getting hit with a ton of snow, but we did not get any. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So, how was everyone's Thanksgiving? Was it good? Was it busy? Did you eat too much? We went up to Pittsburgh and visited my mother-in-law and sister-in-law for Thanksgiving and her family. And then, hey, Reba. Oh, cold and windy. Yeah. All right, then I'm just putting four on the outer rings here okay and like i said don't worry about the placement of them because we're going to slide them around to where we want them oh thank you joy i am feeling better so i have some stuff i've got to get done hey claudia how are you so i thought i'd pop on here this morning and make up for last night because yesterday was not a good day <laughs> but i am feeling and my voice goes in and out. Sorry about that. Hey, Deborah. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. A lot better than yesterday morning. Oh, wow. In Johnstown, you got a lot of snow. Yeah, we didn't get any snow. I'm near about an hour outside of Philadelphia. And we did not get anything. Thank you. I don't want any. <laughs> so, again, this is a 12-inch form. I'm putting them on the two together. The third and the fourth. I'm putting four on each section. And then on the inner ring, the first and the second, I'm putting three on each section. Oh, thanks, Charlene. Hey, Nicole, how are you? So tonight in our group, we're going to be making a fun centerpiece. I have the hat for it all ready to go. Um, so I hope you guys that are in my group can join me tonight. I'm going to do that later at 7 o'clock that done. All right, so that's all on here. One more. Now, I got this burlap from um, Walmart. Um, Charlene, it is on my Etsy shop. I can put the link for it if you would like. Let me get that in here. And I will put it on here for you.
There you go. You can just go right there and um, order one. Okay, so this is the burlap from Walmart. You guys see it's uh, 5.5 inches by 15 feet, I think it is. Yeah. So what I did was um, I took it and cut it into six inches long squares. And then what I do is I take like from side to side and I kind of do the ruffle method like you guys have seen me do. Okay. So then it looks like that. And then I put one in each of the ties. Okay. Let me move you guys down. Okay. That's better. All right. Then it looks like that. <clears throat> okay. So we're just going to keep doing that again. I just take it here from corner to corner and I apologize for my voice. It's going to go in and out. <laughs> okay. And then you just keep going like this. Um, on the two inner rings, I put three and on the, um, two outer rings, I put four. Okay. Again, you just take it and ruffle it. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Hey, Kathy. Oh, thank you for sharing, Stephanie. Appreciate that so much. Um, it takes two rolls of the main color that you're going to use and then it takes about 18 pieces of the green and what you want to do is you want to overlap them and kind of space them out a little bit so this will be the fourth one on here the burlap came in five and a half inches wide and i cut it six inches nicole And you're not going to see these twist ties. So, I mean, if you don't have the same color or can't find the same color or near the same color, don't worry about them. You're not going to see them. So you see how it's looking like a petal? All right. So we're just going to go all the way around the outer ring. Hey, Jackie. Jackie's got this nasty cold thing going on, too. So fun, fun, fun. No problem, Nicole. Okay, so then you just kind of want to push them like that. And I have made these in different colors of burlap too. They have red that you can make it look like a poinsettia. Or I have blue or, you know, whatever um, you want, want it to be. Hey, Sandy. I'm making a sunflower, burlap sunflower. Jackie, this is a 12 inch um, frame. And then you just keep layering them. And I cut the um, pipe cleaners in half. I probably could have even cut them in thirds, but like I said, it really doesn't matter. You're not going to see them, so you just kind of want to overlap them, make it nice and full. Hey, Ernestine, how are you today? I just want to make sure I don't miss a pipe cleaner. Yeah, it's not bad here today. It was 39 this morning, so it's not too bad. So I think out of each roll of burlap, if you cut it to six inches, I believe I got about um, 27 pieces out of each roll. And I'll probably use almost all of them, maybe. Um, yes, sorry, Brenda, I'm making, yep, I'm making a sunflower. There's uh, four, so there's seven in each section right now on here and then we're going to add something to the middle so 
we will add. So 7, 14, 28, I think. Oh, you did get snow in Pittsburgh? Phew. Yes, Kathy, I'm making a sunflower. I have an order for one. So I thought I would come on and make it with you guys. Since I missed last night. Now these are going to fray. There's nothing really you can do about fraying. You can try spraying them. Um, that'll help a little, but it really doesn't help a ton. So you just want to try and, you know, not handle it a lot. The less you handle it, the less sprays you're going to get. But that's just the nature of any of this stuff. Oh, only an inch. Well, that's good. Hey, Brenda. Yeah, so right now I have seven twist ties in each section. And then we'll add a section in here. And that kind of is... Um, you know, you just kind of add as you see fit. Kind of fill it in. Okay, so you can see how full that is already with it, just that one layer. Because you're overlapping the petals and making it nice and full. Um, Kathy, it's five and a half inch um, burlap that I cut to six inches. Yeah, this is burlap. It's actually, a, you know, a burlap fabric. <clears throat> oh, no. Hey Sharon, how are you? Welcome. Oh, don't forget if you guys um, do not get an alert when I go live, type in live if you would like to get an alert. Um, also, if you want in, uh, information about my group, type in group and you can get that. Um, this isn't a paper burlap, it's actually a fabric burlap. I got it from Walmart. You don't want to use paper burlap unless you're, you know you're going to keep it inside, Debbie. Hey, Debbie, um, because it'll if once it, if it gets wet, it'll get ruined totally. Now this is like I said, it's a burlap, so I mean you know the wetness really won't bother it. But you can use regular burlap. You can use poly burlap. Um, you can use mesh. I Like I said, I wouldn't use the paper mesh unless you know you're going to keep it inside. So, yeah, and if you guys think you're going to be doing these um, with poly burlap, I would suggest you order a bunch um, early because this, the poly burlap, on Craft Outlet and all those places sells out really fast. Um, Debbie, there's seven ties in each of the sections. And what I did, I put three on the two inner rings and I put four on the outer rings. Okay. So, yep, yeah, if you guys would share this, it would, I would very much appreciate that. So, what are your guys' plans for this weekend? Hey, Rena, how are you? Yep, so see, it gets nice and full. And this is just the one row, so. And we'll probably be doing three... Four, four rows um, on the whole thing. <clears throat> okay. We're almost done this. Hey, Montreal. Hey, Muriel from Montreal. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Sandy. Appreciate that. 
kind of lose my pipe cleaners. You guys ever do that? You kind of lose where your pipe cleaners are. Hey, Gail, how are you? Good to see you. Just kind of want to, you know, make those petals sit where you want them to. Hey, Sherry, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Debbie, are you looking for the poly burlap or um, the regular burlap or the mesh? Because I'll tell you, it is so many people make these that um, the poly burlap is what a lot of people make these in with. The yellow is so hard to find. Um, oh, all right, Rosie, have a good day at work. Um, that if you find it, you better order it and order a bunch of them because it goes out of stock so quickly. In fact, I should order some from Craig Bachman and <laughs> get it in stock because it's so hard to find. Would you guys be interested in that? If I could get a large quantity of the poly burlap in, I could, um, put it in my Etsy shop for you guys because it is, it is hard to find. I'll have to see if Craig Bachman has it. Not mesh. Yeah, the poly burlap. Hey, Diana. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I tell you, I haven't seen the yellow a lot at, at Walmart. And when I do, I grab it. And they usually don't have a lot of it. Um, or the green. That was the first time I found the green at Walmart. So... I hope they're going to keep carrying it. Yeah, I'll look into that and see. Now, the poly burlap is, it's, it's expensive, too. It's like 8 or $9 a roll. And I don't remember how many rolls. Now, that's bigger. It's 10 inch. So, it's going to, you know, cover more. All right, so that's just the outside ring. I will. I, I will definitely order that. Oh, no problem, Colleen. Yeah, the poly burlap. Yeah. Yep. All right. So now we're going to go to the inner row. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing the same thing. You want to make a sunflower for your daughter? Okay. Yeah, I'll see if um, Craig Bachman has it in stock. Um, I can't remember, to be honest. Hey, Debbie. If you need one or two rolls when you do poly burlap okay so you see how that overlaps that so it covers those pipe cleaners up so even if you um, don't have the same color pipe cleaners it don't worry about it because you're going to cover them up anyway um, this is 5.5 inches of burlap I think it said and I cut it to six inches okay so then you're just going to like I said Take those and have it kind of overlap the petals on the back row. Hey, Remy, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. I am. I'm, tuck, I'm twisting the ties, and then I'm just kind of tucking them under. Yep, because... We're going to put a covering on the back of this, so you're not going to see all these twist ties. So that's one section done before we add that. And I'm just taking them, like I said, and twisting them real good, and then just tucking them under. And I do cover the back of these when I make the flowers because of all the um, twist ties. It doesn't look very nice. So I do, like this is only the one of, really the flowers, these flowers are the only ones I really cover the back of my wreath frame. Don't forget to share this if you would. These, Diane, Diana, these have been cut to six inches. Okay. 
Okay, Ren says you need one of the 10 inch and one of the, um, one roll of the 10 inch poly burlap of the yellow and one of the green. Yeah, I couldn't remember if you needed one or two. It's been a while since I've made one. On the outside, Wanda, there's four. And on the inside, there's three. And I, I just space them evenly, Sandra. Hey, Neely, how are you? Yeah, I just kind of space them evenly. And I don't, like, glue them down like I do with my other wreath bases. Um, because I want them to slide around. So that if I want them to move, kind of adjust where they are laying, then I can do that. So I don't really like measure how far. I just put four on the outside and three on the inside. Hey, Jody, how are you? Oh, good, Cindy. Yeah, I love these flowers. I like them with the poly burlap. I like them with this burlap. I hadn't seen one made with the burlap, this burlap before. So when I found this yellow burlap in August, um, I thought I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, Ren, you can make it, oh, you made it on a 10 inch. So you might need two if you do it on a 12 inch. Yeah, you can do these on a 10 inch. You can do it on 12 inch. Like this is a 12 inch. You can do it on a 14 inch, but I mean, it gets pretty big. I mean, I don't have the leaves on yet and it's already 18 inches. So by the time you add the leaves, it'll probably be 20 inches. I'm using two rolls of the yellow and one roll, not even one roll of the green. Um, Sandra, I'm putting four pipe cleaners on this section, the top section. So you see one, two, three, four, and then I have three on this section. So for each section, there are seven pipe cleaners. You can kind of see how they space out on the back. It's a little better. Oh, thank you, Mavis. I appreciate that. So again, if you guys don't get an alert when I go live. Oh yeah, Joan, that's true. 12 to 14 inches. Oh no, where are you, Joan? No problem. The burlap is cut to six inch pieces. No problem, Wanda. Now, like someone was saying, you can use a 10 inch frame, which will make your flower a little smaller. This is a 12 inch. Um, you can make it 14 inch, 16 inch, whatever size you want it to be. Um, thank you, Jackie, for sharing. Oh, Jody, I hope we don't get it. So, like I said, this is a 12 inch. And right now, what did I say? It's already 18 inches. So you're going to add probably about six or seven inches by the time you're done. Yeah, because this is already to 18. So by the time I add the petals, maybe around 19, 20 inches. So figure you're going to add whatever size frame you use, you're probably going to add like six inches to it. Approximately. Now, if you use the 10 inch poly burlap, it's going to end up bigger. So I tend to do them on a 12 inch frame. It just makes them you know, not huge. Now you can also do them on the unique in the Creek frame, which I have some of those. I made a um, poinsettia on one of those. I'll have to show you it. Oh, I don't want to hear. Um, Chad, I used two rolls of the yellow and you'll use just one part of one of the um the green now the yellow i got 27 pieces out of i cut to you know six inches
Yeah, well, I'm in Pennsylvania. Oops, I lost my twist. There it is. Um, about an hour outside of Philadelphia, so. Two more. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys don't get snow. When when the South gets snow, whew, you guys are in trouble. I lived in um, Virginia for seven years. And boy, when we got snow there, there was a panic everywhere. Now, this is the very end of the roll. So it's really a tight roll. Okay. So that is the part where just that's just the frame okay so i'll turn you around and show you so there's seven in each section four on the top the outer two and three on the inner two now you can come back here and space them out you know whatever you want now what i do is i take one of these nine and a half inch um they're just a i don't know what they're called canvas circle okay yes i do use the wood burning tool when i cut mine with the um the poly burlap okay so then what i do is i just kind of mark how far in i want my petals to be and this is the center part now you don't have to go by this it's just kind of what i do so then what i do is i take zip ties yeah right Rhonda. i take zip ties and i take it around one of those center pieces Try to keep it centered and I zip tie this onto the frame. Now, I don't want to do it tight at first because that way I can slide it from side to side and I try to do it on every one of the crossbars. You kind of want it to be centered so Okay, so once you kind of get an idea that if it's centered, you can tighten that up. Cut this off. And again, don't worry about how this looks because we're going to cover the back of it. <clears throat> and I do it at every crossbar. Kind of hold it in place here. It is windy out there, though. And I'm just taking it and wrapping it around the crossbar and then through the holes on the back of that. Oh, I remember when we used to live in Virginia. And literally, they were calling for like an inch of snow. I mean, the place shut down. I would go to the grocery store on my normal grocery store day. And literally, there was no carts in the in the grocery store. And I'm thinking, it's not going to snow you in forever. We're just getting an inch. But people down there just aren't used to it. And they don't have the equipment like we do up here. So, Okay, last one. Um, I got the backing at Joann's. All right, so I'm just going to tighten those up and cut them off. Yeah, I, I found them at Joann's. I think they're less than a dollar, right? something like that. Okay, so that's with our backing on. So now what I do is get the rest of the things. And what I do now is instead of having the zip ties up, Oh, sure. Can you see it? It's just a, it's a nine and a half inch diameter canvas circle. Hey, Jerry Lynn, how are you? No problem. So what I do now through here is I will do my petal. 
but I will put my pipe cleaner on it um, before I put it in. You found a six, six pack of these? Yeah, they're not expensive. They're not expensive at all. Now what I do is, like I said, I kind of measured how, like how the distance, like what I thought the distance was here to here, and that's where I put my lines. Hi Anna, how are you? So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pipe cleaners and feed it through the holes. Okay. And then just twist it and tie it on the back. All right. And you can cut these off if you want. All right. Now, there's no real formula for how many of these you need. I just kind of spread them out and see how many I need. Yeah, and, and you know, ice, I mean, ice will cripple you too. So, again, I put the pipe cleaner on before I put it on. And just kind of spread them out. I'm just going to pick that up. And I do draw the lines so I kind of can keep the um, sunflower, you know, somewhat you know, shaped correctly. Um, the petals are, they're five and a half inch, it's five and a half inch burlap and I cut it to six inches. Okay, and I might even, I don't know how many I'm going to need. So like I said, if you don't get an alert and you would like to know when I'm going live, type live in the comments. If you want information about my new group, um, type group in and you will get information on that. It is $14.99 a month. I know, right, Chad? They do. They get, they do, they panic because, number one, they just aren't equipped for it. They don't have the equipment, you know, they don't, they just aren't ready for it. Hey, Peggy, how are you? Okay, again, I just put them on. And kind of just space it out. You don't need a ton on these rows. Just kind of enough to fill it in. And poke it through those holes. Oop, string there. Okay. And when you cut your burlap from Walmart, the six, the five and a half inch at six inches, you get about 27 squares um, out of it. So kind of gives you an idea of how many you're going to use. Like I said, I just spread them out on this row. Doesn't want to go in there. Yeah, I'm sure you don't see a lot of snow. That doesn't want to go in. You probably would like to see it here. We're like, no, no snow, please. Thanks, Gail. And I'm just poking them through. Um, this will be two rolls if I use all of this. I think with the last one I made, I used all but one piece, I think it was. So, you need two rolls of this. Yep, two rolls of the yellow, and then you'll need a partial of the green. Um, yeah, Mary Jane, because it's just, it's just, it's fabric, so it'll be fine outside. So I think we'll do one more on this layer. Oh, I bet that was fun. Okay, so we'll 
do one more on this layer. And like I said, I'm not really, I don't know how far they are. I'm just kind of filling it in. Hey, Tammy, I'm well. How are you? Better than yesterday. All right, so on this one, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven petals on this section. Um, hey, Janet. Hey, Natalie. I used a 12-inch box um, wreath frame. Okay, so there's seven on that row. Now, what I'm using for the middle is this four inch pom pom. So I want to do one more row to kind of um, fill that in. So we're just going to use the rest of these to fill it in. Hey, Natalie. Yes, absolutely, Wanda. Absolutely. So again, with this part, I'm just going to put the, um, no problem, Janet, pipe cleaner on first, and then I will just like find a space in between these two on this row and put it in between those two. The pom-pom I got at AC Moore which is a local um, local craft store here. And I believe they do sell online now. Yeah, it's just a four inch pom-pom. I've seen a lot of different things that people use on the center. Some, um, you know, they use those glass balls. Some use different things. I saw these, hey, Diane, how are you? And I was like, oh, that's perfect. All right, again, I'm just gonna take this next one and put it in between these two. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to where I'm putting them. I'm just kind of trying to space them out so that it covers the previous row. Hey, Kusira, is that how you pronounce your name? Pretty name. Okay. You have a couple more here and I have three left so we'll see if I use the same amount this time. Again I used a 12 inch frame and I put four on the very outer two rows and then three on the inner rows and then I added this plastic round plastic canvas piece and I put seven rows on the first section of that. Hey Barb how are you? I'm feeling much better. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, yesterday was not a good day. <laughs> Did not feel good. Okay, so I think we'll probably do two more and then we'll be done. Yeah, it started, it actually started Thanksgiving night. I had a really bad headache. And then I woke up Friday morning and I felt awful. And then we had to drive home from Pittsburgh so that was not a fun drive. <laughs> so I was glad to be home. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing. Oh, no problem, Annette. Thanks, Margaret. Yeah, I think we'll put one more in here. And then, yep, that'll be, I have one left over from the two rows. And I think that's exactly what I did last time. Yeah, and I even cut the right amount of pipe cleaners. That's rare. Okay. So just pop one more in here. And then we are done with this part. Um, this is actually burlap fay, and I cut it, it came five and a half inches wide, and I cut it six inches. Hey, Leslie, how are you? All right, so then I did one, two, three, two, three, four, 
5 on this section. I'm just going to cut off the excess. Hey, Ladiva, how are you? Hey, Leslie. I'm glad you're here. This is your first time and you would like to receive an alert when I go live? Just type live in the comments. Okay. All right. Hello, Claire. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so... Yes, yep, Michelle, you would put them in the same place. You just probably would need, you know, if you're using a... This is a 12-inch frame. So obviously, if you're using a 14-inch frame, you're going to need more pipe cleaners. So as you guys can see, this is one section right here. I did four, and I wrapped my pipe cleaner around... Um, the two outer ones, and then the inner two inners, I put three. So there's seven in each section there. So there's seven in each section all around. And then when I added this plastic piece, on the first row, I did seven. On the inner row, I did five. Okay. Thanks, Patricia. So now what I do is I take this four-inch pom-pom that I found at AC Moore. Like, see fits in there perfectly. All right, and I just take some floral wire. I didn't have gold, we'll use gold. Oh, hey, Judy, well, welcome. So glad you guys are here. Okay, so I just cut off a piece, I don't know, about 15 inches. Hey, Carol, welcome. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to like feed it through this pom-pom. All right, so. It's not going anywhere. It's stuck in there. Okay. Then I'll just twist that good. And then I'm just going to take these wires and feed it through the center here. Okay. Can you guys see that? And then I'll just pull it through. So I'll turn it over and just twist that on. Oh, thanks, Ladiva. Yeah, I'm going to. Thanks, Kathy. I will put a cover on the back of this also. All right, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, doesn't that look pretty? And then, you know, you can spread your petals out, whatever you want. Okay, now, you don't have to add, this is a 24 gauge wire. You don't have to add the um, petals if you don't want to. Now, from the two rolls, of that mesh, I have one piece left over. So that's there. All right. So now what I did, I took the green and I cut them the same length. I cut them five or six inches. And I forgot to get my green pipe cleaners, but that's okay. So, and I think I cut 18 inches. Two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 18 inches here, or 18 pieces. I'm going to take pipe cleaners and cut them in half. And these we're going to um, do a little differently. Not too much. Okay. So the pom-pom um, I got from AC Moore, which I'm sure you can get at any local um craft store. It's just a four inch one. And then, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do three petals in each section here. All right. So I do this one a little differently. I do ruffle it the same way. Okay. But instead of going corner to corner like this, okay, to make that, I'm going to kind of ruffle it down here on this corner. And what that does is it kind of makes a bigger petal. Can you see that? All right, so then the petal is going to go here like this. So we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap it around here. And it was a 24 gauge wire. Okay, so we're going to take that, we're going to put it on the um, these, probably the second ring here, and I'm just going to use three of these on each section. I'm just going to feed it through there. 
and attach it. Okay, and then that's what, so your petals will stick out a little more, okay, like that. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. And again, I just kind of do the corner here, right at the edge. So it kind of makes a little bit, so that's what your wreath looks like. So the yellow took two, and the green, I only, <clears throat> I only used 18 pieces. So you just need like one of the green. Okay, so I'm going to take that. Put it there. And just tuck that under. All right, so we're going to put three in each section. Again, your petals are a little bigger. Wrap that twist tie around there. So the yellow, I think, let me see, 27, so that's, so I use 53 pieces of the yellow, and then I will use 18 of the green. So you see how the green kind of stands out from that a little bit? And you don't need as, um, as many because you're folding it differently so it's a little bigger. Oh, good, Leslie. Well, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is a pretty easy way to do it. Not hard. And like I said, you can use different size um, frames if you want. This is a 12-inch frame. You can use a 10-inch to make it a little smaller. You can use a 14-inch to make it big bigger. It's totally up to you. Gonna wrap that around there. Thanks. And attach this. And like I said, I'm just putting three and I'm putting them on the outside. So if you put them on the inside, it'll be tucked in a little bit more. I think I'm gonna put it on the outside. I'm yeah, I'm just I'm just saying that. Oh, I see great minds think alike. I'm putting the green on the outer row. Okay. And of course, if you use um, a different size, you're going to need more or less of the colors. So it just depends how many you're, you know, what size you're using and how many you would need. I tend to stick with the 12 inch rings. Um, I think it just makes a nice size flower. And then I'll show you, I have the, um, the one I made at Unique from the Unique in the Creek flower board. So I'll show you how big that one comes out. So don't forget, please share this with your friends. Okay, and I'm just tucking that under. And like I said, we're going to cover this back. So you don't really have to worry about what that looks like. You didn't get an alert. Um, Trixie, make sure that on my page, like and follow my page if you don't already, and make sure that the notifications are turned on because I had another person that was not receiving the alerts and it, it was in the notifications. She wasn't, um, she didn't have that um, checked. So make sure you check your, that your notifications are turned on. Oh, thanks, Janet. Appreciate that. Okay. 
Yes, they're not hard. They just, you know, like anything, they just take a lot of time and material and that kind of stuff. So you checked all that. Okay, now, all right, so you are responding to the bot, right? Let me see. Make sure. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. See, Trixie, I don't even have that you are on here. Let me try looking for your name. Nope. And that's the same problem that she was having. And you're sure that you checked all that. Well, thanks, Natalie. Yeah, you'll have to, it, Rosie, oh, she left. Rosie um, Sweeney O'Donnell was having the same issues. And girl, we went and we checked everything on her um, Facebook. Oh, no problem, Joan. Thank you for sharing. And she ended up, like, check your messengers, like, inside messenger to see if, you know, everything's set up there with my page. I don't know. We tried everything. And then she said she went in. You were receiving them before. That's weird because I don't show that um, that you're in my bot system at all. I don't know. It's crazy. You were receiving them before today. That's crazy. Trixie, I don't know. I wish I had an answer. Facebook drives me crazy sometimes. It really does. Sometimes she, yeah, Mary Jane, she just did. She just typed it again. Um, and like, I know if you unsubscribe from my alerts, well, first of all, I can't add you or, or, um, take you off. So I wish I could. Um, but I can't with the mini chat, you can't do that. You have to actually subscribe and say, yes, you want this stuff. So, um, I don't know. That's so weird. Now, Mary Jane just typed it again, so we'll see. Like, and I can look you up and see if you're there. Yep, absolutely, Trixie. You can um, go on my page under the videos section, and it will be in there. I just hate that you're not getting the alerts. Okay, Leslie says check on this comment page. Go up to the bell and hit all. So try that. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I am telling you, Rosie and I tried everything under the sun. Um, I, I, you know what? I've tried to spray the burlap. I don't know that it really helps, to be honest, Barb. You can try it, um, but it's going to fade a little, just like any mesh. Obviously, this is burlap, but um, it's going to fade like any material, but as, okay, that's what you just had to do, Leslie. Okay, so she said, check on the, on this comment page and go up to the bell and hit all. I don't know what, I don't know what um, Facebook does sometimes. I really don't. Sometimes it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can look and see if you're subscribed, but I did, and it said it, your name didn't come up. Make sure not on the highlights, okay? Leslie said make sure not on the highlights. Thanks for sharing, Janet. I appreciate it. That is checked off. It's so crazy, Trixie. I don't know. I wish I had an answer. I'm so sorry. It's frustrating. It really is frustrating because I tell you, Rosie and I, Rosie lives out in California and I'm in Pennsylvania. And she kept saying she can't get it. She can't get it. So we did a Zoom call and I tried to figure it out. And boy, we could not figure it out for the life of us. Don't know. So she said she actually had to go into notifications on my page and make sure that that was all checked. So then she started getting them. So I don't know. Thanks for sharing, Barb. I appreciate that. 
And like I said, if you guys would like information on my paid group, just type group in. It's $14.99 a month. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, Annette. It's crazy. So this is the last section here. I'm telling you, I wish I understood all that Facebook stuff. So. And tonight in my group, we're going to make a centerpiece, a Christmas centerpiece. Okay, good. So you got a reply, right, Mary Jane? So when you get that um, response from my bot, you have to reply to the bot in order to be subscribed. If you just hit live on here and expect that you are um, subscribed to my bot, you're not. You have to type in a response and then you will be subscribed, but you have to type in that reply. They want to make sure you actually want them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does. Like I will, I will update the bot, but it should. Um, hold on, let me see. Yeah, I did update the bot. <laughs> Yeah, you have to answer it. Hmm. Okay. All right. So this is what it looks like now. All right. So now just from that, like I said, before it was what, 18 inches. And now with the petals from petal to petal, it's like 24 inches. Okay. Now, one thing you want to do before you put the back on is you want to add a um, hanger. And what I do for that is I find a crossbar and I just put the hanger, a zip tie around that crossbar. Yeah, I have changed the bots, but you do have to answer the questions. Okay. So that's going to be the hanger. Oops. Connie, I don't know. I think there's a bunch of drama around that. <laughs> now I kind of stay out of drama. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now this is a placemat from um, the Dollar Tree. And what I do with this is I cut it down to size. So probably about there. And it doesn't really matter on the color of it. I mean, it's just the back of the wreath. So I don't really, you know, you can't always find the colors there. So I just buy what they have. So I'm just cutting this around to kind of fit it to size. I mean, you could keep it long if you want to, but I just kind of cut them down. Yeah, um, red dirt, red dirt something. Uh, her name was Paula from Red Dirt Rees or something. I think it was. I don't know. Like I said, too much drama for me, and I, you know, leave me out of the drama. I'm just here to make wreaths. Okay, so I cut it down, and then, oops, now I cut it down too small. Oh well, need another one. Yeah, it, there was just a lot of drama going on around that. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, yeah, I just kind of stay out of it. I'm not going to get... Yeah, I'm just using the... Um, and I just really kind of want to color cover the back. So this time I want to make sure I get it a little bigger. Sorry, I was too busy reading. <laughs> 
and not paying attention, so I'll cut two off. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. Some people said she did have cancer. Some people said she didn't. I don't know. I don't really want to know. I'm not going to get involved in that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I pray that she's okay and that everything's all right, but I don't know. Um, this is just a, play, a round placemat from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I cut it the right size this time. Okay, there we go. So you just kind of wanted to cover up those pipe cleaners, okay? So then what I do is I just take zip ties and I just zip tie it to the frame. And this kind of covers up the back nicely. And you want to tuck um, tuck it kind of down underneath so you don't get that zip tie up top. So then tuck the zip tie under. So I do one side, and then I do the other side to kind of pull it. Hey, Janet, how are you? Yeah, I'm not getting involved in all that. That's not my cup of tea. <laughs> I am not going to get involved in the drama. Oh, thanks, Gail. And again, you just kind of want to pull that one under. So it doesn't, oops, scratch the door there. Just slide that under. Make sure your hanger is out. And I'm kind of doing it on the um, those crossbars again. Ah, there we go. Thanks, Kelly. Goodness gracious, it does not want to come up. There we go. Okay. All right. Yep, you can absolutely watch the replay. Yep, it's just go under on my page under videos and it will be on there. And like I said, you just want to tuck those zip ties under so they don't scratch the door. Thanks, Shirley. Okay. That does not want to come through. This one does not want to come through. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And like I said, you just want to pull it under. Make sure it goes there. Yeah, I don't know, Trina. I'm the same way. I wish her well. I hope I hope that everything goes well with her. I just don't want to be involved in all that drama. Okay, so one more over here. Yes, I put a zip tie here to hang it on. Yep. Don't forget that. <laughs> I've done that before. But you can always go back and add it. It's no big deal. There we go. All right, last one. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Okay, tuck that under. There we go. Doesn't want to go around. Let me do that one. Does not want to go around. Hmm. 
Okay, and just tuck it under. So that's what the finished back looks like. Okay, and then this is the front. Turns out pretty, doesn't it? All right now, what I want to show you guys, let me try to show you this real quick. Sorry, excuse me. So this is one I made with the, this is a, a poinsettia I made with the Unique in the Creek board. Same size mesh, um, it's just a different board so it has a lot more, okay, so you can see, no problem, whoops. So. This is the poinsettia I did on the board, and then this is the one I used um, just on the frame. And unique on the creek, this is what the board looks like. You use zip ties around it, and then this is the back of this one. And I think they turn out to be almost the same size. Yep, they do. So, just a little different how you, you know, how you do it. This with the zip ties and you kind of use the same method as you do for the petals here. Yeah, this one definitely, it's a lot fuller of the petals. This one, there's less petals. It's kind of spread out a little more, but they both come out the same size pretty much. It's just a little different version. So, yeah, this one's definitely uses a lot more material to it. All right, do you guys have any questions before I pop off of here? And like I said, um, thanks, Leslie. Yeah, this one, like I said, this one has a lot more layers to it. It's a lot thicker. This one um, use a little less material, but this, again, you can use the poly burlap. You can use the mesh. You can use the burlap. And this I just took and hot glued um, these Christmas ornaments on there. So, all right, guys, thanks for sharing. And tonight in my group, we are going to be making a centerpiece using this hat. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to do that tonight. Hey guys, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If you'd like to order one, they're on my Etsy shop. You can make another one. Yep. So, thanks guys, and I will see you Thursday night. Lord willing. Alright, thanks guys. Have a wonderful day, and this one will be going to its new home today. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.